Hello, Mini Masters. This is one of your crafts to go along with the story stuck for September 16th. So today we are going to make a paper, another kind of a little kite. We're gonna make our little kite flying in the sky. So what you need is a background piece of paper. I chose blue because this will be our sky. You need a cupcake liner. Any color will do. If it has patterns on it, that's great. If it's blank, that's okay. You can always decorate it. You need a piece of white paper, just any scrap paper. See, I have something on the back of mine, but that's okay. And we'll need some scissors. You'll need some white string or white uh, yarn. And you'll need some stick glue, but then also some school glue, some white glue that way too. So to begin with, we want to make sure we can put our kite right at the top somewhere up here in the clouds. So what I did was I kind of drew the shape of a kite on the back of my flattened out cupcake liner. It might take a while to flatten this out because it gets kind of curved. But you wanna flatten it out and then with some help, if you wanna draw the shape of a kite, it has four sides, it's kind of like a diamond. The top part is a little bit shorter than the bottom part. And then you can go ahead and cut that out with some help. Remember how we cut? So you go up, down, open, close. So I'll show you on my other, the colorful one that I have here. So this is a nice, pretty shape, and it's a nice, um, it's got some cool designs on it. So what I'm gonna do is flip it over, and I'm gonna use my stick glue for this, because this one you can get all the way to the very edges because you want to make sure you get the whole thing because it will curl up a little bit. So I'm going to put my kite right up here in the corner. I'm going to put it right there. Sometimes you might need to put a little bit more on the corner. That's okay to get it to stick a little bit. Make sure you stick it down just like that. Okay. Now I want to place my cloud so I just took a piece of paper, just scratch paper like this, and then I just folded it in half so that I have two. So what I'm gonna do is I just draw a simple cloud shape. Big, fluffy cloud, doesn't need to be anything fancy. And then with it still folded, you wanna go ahead and cut this out. So cut it out around here, and then that will give you two cloud shapes. So again, using your stick glue, turn it over, and we're going to glue it onto the back. And I'm gonna put one cloud up here, and I'm gonna put another cloud down at the bottom. I'm gonna put them right there, kind of to the side. All right, now it's time for our the kite string. So with your white school glue, you want to make sure it comes out okay. Now with some help, you don't want to do too much, but you want to draw a nice line and you can make it wiggle in the sky and go all the way down there. Because then what I'm going to do, I kind of guess, I might, my string might not be that long, but that's okay. I can always get more string. And then I'm going to lay my string in the glue so it's a nice kind of practice on on picking up gently and putting it down in the glue without getting it all over your fingers so this is a kind of a good activity for little fingers for picking up and putting down gently you get it all the way down there oh look at that almost perfect okay just had a little bit at the end and that's okay just go back there kind of smush it down just a little bit and then make sure that's all the way in there. And remember the school glue will, will dry invisible, so it won't be white like that, it'll dry. So once it's completely dry, then you can add some other embellishments. So you can add um, little bows on your kite. Sometimes they would put little, they look like little bows on the kite, and that's kind of helped, it just, kind of helps it fly, but also it's kind of a fun decoration. So 
So how I do this is make a triangle. So make the triangle and with the point sticking out, did that one wrong, that's okay. There we go. Just do little triangles with the point at the string and that makes your little bow. Put one, one more down here. And if you want to make something else in the sky or if you want to draw the sun or even a little airplane flying in the background, you can do that too. So there you have it. Your quick and easy little kite that's flying in the sky. Hope you enjoyed.